got a message from Slinky. Oh, hold on. I need to go this way now. That he has sent me some coordinates to go to. And he has a video for me to watch. Now that's just a little concerning. Especially when it comes to Slinky. Oh, here we go. Open the door, walk inside, click the link. Let's play. Okay. Open the door. Walk inside. What? Hey! Wait! Stop! Stop! What am I supposed to do about this? Dog, cat, dog, uh, did you, eh, eh. No! Why would you do that? Okay. I'm gonna watch the video now. Hello, mister. Lost my marbles. Let's play a little game. It seems you like to toy with the lives of a sheep. Blowing them up. At any whim. I'm not here to say whether it's right or wrong. I just thought we'd have a little fun. When you entered this room, you unknowingly started a timer. When this timer is up, all of your valuable items will come shooting out of that dropper. And there's only one way to stop. You have to click option A or option B. Option A will kill this poor innocent cat. Dead. His blood on your hands, just like the sheep. Option B. I took the liberty of grabbing Mr. Bones from your base last season, and I put him in the other tube. If you click option B, Mr. Bones will be burnt alive. But you're- I hope you have fun, Mr. Marbles. <laughs> I have been forced to kill Mr. Bones against my will. If I had had more time to think about that, I would have just let them both live. I don't care about my items. What's even in here? Not much. Apparently, definitely not worth the life of a dog. Come here, kitty. Let's get you out of there. Oh, please don't. Cat. Oh. Oh, goodness. What? Why do these just say Stiefel? Okay, so here's the rest of my stuff. Hey, not my lecterns. Hey, not my expensive iron bar. Okay, so there was... Hmm. Still not worth the life of a dog. Now he gets what's coming to him. Now I've got to deal with this mess. Joke's on him, I stole all his redstone. Guys, it's back. It's the Omega Drown. It's back. It's in here for the third time. The third season. I don't know why. I'm the only one to ever see it. Let me give you some context for this entire situation. This is an Omega Drowned. A drowned that appears out of nowhere, surrounded by a cyclone of tridents. It comes without warning, it kills me, and then it vanishes without a trace. Hence why I refer to it as my arch nemesis. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am the only player on this server to have witnessed this phenomenon. This server has run three separate worlds now. Obviously, I first discovered it in World 1, 
where it showed up in my ravine base. These screenshots are all I have. Next world, I managed to capture video evidence of its existence. Shortly after recording, it killed me and vanished into the night. So imagine my surprise when I'm peacefully building up the foundation of my base on World 3, and this happens. I had the opportunity to catch it, to prove to the rest of the server that this thing is real, and it eluded me. Hallucinations don't hunt. Nightmares don't kill. It's real, and it's out there. Burn! Wake up! Look at this! <laughs> no. No, you know what? I'm done being harassed by this thing. I'm gonna catch it. I've gotta catch it, and then this whole nightmare can be over. Right? I'll make them see. I'll make them all see. They laughed at me. They said it wasn't real. They said the Omega Drown doesn't exist. That I'm making it all up. Well, guess what? I'm about to catch one. And I'm gonna show it off. I'm gonna prove them wrong. Come here, buddy. Come into your new home. Come on. A little closer. Come on. Come on, a little bit. Over here. Heal, heal, heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These things have a habit of just vanishing. Ready to go! No, it's right there. Okay, come on. In you go. Come on. Dolphin, no, this is not. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh... There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. I just gotta go. Just gotta get my grave. Gotta keep going. Where to go? Oh no. Oh no. This is how this always goes. It shows up out of nowhere, it kills me, and then it vanishes! Gosh, and I say I came so close! Anyway, what I was doing when I was so rudely interrupted, as I mentioned, was building up the foundation of this island. It's been floating in the middle of the ocean for a good long while now, and I think it's about time I give it something to stand on. So you can see here, I've kind of been making this outline around the edges of the island, and then, I mean, originally I was getting all of this gravel from the nether, and then I realized, hey, in this space, in the ocean, you know what the ocean floor is made of? Gravel. Been doing this wrong this entire time. <laughs> oh well. It's gonna, it's gonna be a very large project though, look, I think I'm not quite halfway there. I wonder what my gravel statistics are. Hold on. Times used? Gravel. 14,466. I've probably killed as many drowned as that, and been killed by drowned half of that. That's not a very good K KD ratio, I guess. It's also about time I get rid of this stupid banner sign. It was a good idea, I think but the execution, it just doesn't look good. So I think I'm gonna go back into GIMP and make a sign for it eventually. Just another image mod or image plugin sort of thing. Kind of like I did with the whale sore. I also regret to inform you that uh, Bartenderman no longer works here. He needed an attitude adjustment and he couldn't manage it. He couldn't take it. So I had to be the I had to be the one to fire him. Maybe if he didn't expect fair treatment and like, I don't know, livable wages, we would have gotten along better. But that's the restaurant business for you. Well, base updates aside, you might be wondering if you saw last episode, what 
was so interesting about that shulker box up here in Slinky's base. And as we walk closer, I think you'll hear- oh, there it is. My retribution. This shulker box, which I can't open, because that sets off this trap, is full of all of the materials to build my hobbit base, excuse me, our hobbit base from last world. You remember I made that offhand joke a couple episodes back about rebuilding it in Slinky's base? Haha, ha, real funny prank. Well, he decided that it was gonna be his job to do that and left this box out, which I just happened to discover by some good fortune. So let me just uh, show you what happens when this box is opened and or removed. So many skeletons fall directly on Slinky's head. Yep. Oh, and there are always more. Because I don't think Slinky has noticed yet. There's a skeleton spawner up here. Just slowly dropping them down, one by one, until eventually he opens the box. I'm not going to open the box on camera here, because you'll have to go watch Slinky's episode to see how that looks. But trust me, it is glorious. So, Slinky, are you ready to give up? I'm just kidding, I don't actually have any future plans for you, and uh, if it's all the same to you, we've got only so much time left on this server, so maybe we should start focusing more on our bases and less on pranking each other, huh?